Hey everybody, Jessica Kobesi here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn a backlit washed out image and make it more contrasted and more bold. So there's a couple of steps to, in doing this. So let's just go ahead and start with this photo I took right here of the beautiful Francina. Now to begin, I'm going to change the tone of the picture. So I'm going to go over to solid color and really you can pick any kind of tone that you want but I want a warmer tone for this picture so I'm gonna go ahead and pick a yellow color and it could be a yellow any like any yellow color but I'm gonna choose like kind of bright, a brighter color so I'm gonna go ahead and press OK and you're gonna to want to set this to multiply and the reason we're setting this to multiply is I think that it sticks more to the picture so let's go ahead and this is going to be very, very subtle, so we're going to put it to about 15. We can always change this afterwards. So it's, again, very subtle, but this is going to help us when we add in the other layers. So let's go ahead <clears throat> and go to Levels. So we're going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then Levels. And press OK. And let's work with this image a little, and we're going to bring up the lighter colors a little and the nice thing about this is you could do this in two ways you could do this through levels or you could do this through curves curves is a lot easier for me I don't know, maybe I'm just I just love curves I'll, I'll show you both ways though so this is using levels so here's before and here's after really dramatic change already I don't really use this I'm not even gonna lie, I don't even really use this too much. So, once we get it to an area where we like it, I think that looks pretty good. And then, lastly, let's go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we're gonna go to gradient map. And I'm gonna pick a this orange, I think I have. Yep, this one right here. We're gonna pick a blue to orange color make this orange a little bit brighter and again this is just in gradient map you can make your own gradient you can play around with colors but for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and use the blue to orange and press OK and let's put this to soft light so already it gives it like a nice color you can see the difference I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see the difference of course you could keep it like this but I always like to add a gradient map because it adds some extra colors in there. And then lastly, we can go to brightness and contrast. And then you can just add in some extra to make the image pop out a little bit more. So let me show you guys the before and after for this. This is before, really washed out. And this is after. I'm going to show you guys this using curves now. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this entire folder. And then we're going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and we're just going to be using Curves. Now, Curves is an essential part of photography to me because you can literally change a picture, the entire picture, just using Curves. So let's go ahead. And as you can see, I'm just pulling down the values here. And we will give it like a, a different look for this one. So by just doing that. And then again, you can do that solid color thing again. Let's see how that looks with it. Again, we're just setting it to multiply. A solid color fill and setting it to multiply. And I'm going to show you guys the before and after. This is without a curve, and this is simply with a curve. Now also, if I wanted to, I can go into curves and then go to blue and I can play around with that as well. And I'm just simply bringing up this and blue so that it fills in. As you can see, if I drop that down, if I drop this down, you're seeing more black. And if I bring this up, it's filling in the black with blue. So let's keep it around there. 
And again, these are very, very subtle changes. This is nothing that's too complicated to do. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Again, this is literally using one layer. And then, again, a color fill. And another extra step you could take, you can, again, go to brightness, contrast, just to make the image a little bit more bold. So there you have it. There's really, again, nothing too complicated about this. And I hope you guys learned something. And if you guys have any requests or questions, please let, know, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching.